How can you use place value to know where to place a first digit in the quotient or the answer to your division problem? Hi there. A truck driver just filled up her truck and Diary was trying to see how much gas she put in. But their minds are on with the gas. Check out the gas tank. We have one, 144. So how many hundreds do we have? We have one 100, which is also shown in this quick picture at the bottom of our one 100. Think about it as you're not dividing by one because four can't go into one, but you're dividing by the whole number of 14, the one and the four this time, okay? So watch where they place the digit. So if I have 565 pictures in five equal groups, I'm going to divide, okay? So I'm going to divide 565 divided by five. We have five hundreds. Wow. 
How many times does five go into five? One time, right? So if five into five hundreds, each person is going to get one one hundred. Okay, so it was in the we divided by the one hundreds place value. Since we divide it just by the one hundreds right here, we're gonna place it in the hundreds place. Each group gets one 100, so we're putting it over the 100s. So now we're bringing down that six, right? And we're gonna do five divided into six. So we're gonna place that quotient, that next, next number in the tens place value if we can subtract, divide five into six. Five goes into six, how many times? One time. Five goes into 15, how many times? Five, 10, 15, three times. So three is your quotient number. <laughs> 15 minus 15 equals? Zero. All right, so let's do some together. Check out your paper. We're gonna do three problems together and then I want you to do the last one on your own. Make sure you have your multiplication chart out as a reference and a tool to use while we're dividing. And you'll just need your pencil and eraser and your activity sheet. First, we're gonna look at the number problem a six divided into 144. So locate that one on your paper. All right, so let's look at this. How many times can six go into the number 144? When we start dividing, we start with the biggest number first, the one that's closest to our divisor, I guess you sh should say. So let's look at the one. I have a one here. Can six go into one? No, it's not one of my multiples. It's less than six, so no. That means I'm gonna need to divide by the whole number of 14, okay? So now let's see how many times can six go into 14? Look at your multiples of six. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. All right. I don't even see the number 14, but I know 14 is between 12 and 18. I can't take away more than 14, so I have to go with my multiple um, and product of 12, and six times two equals 12. So on top of my four, since I multiply by 14, I'm gonna write a two. It has to go on top of the tens place value, not the 100s, okay? And six times two is 12, 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract 12. Make sure you line those place values up. Go ahead and subtract. Four minus two is two. Four minus one is zero. And of course, next you're gonna bring that four down from your ones place value. So 24. My next job is to see how many times can six go into the whole number of 24, right? So that's my next one I'm multiplying by or dividing by into is 24, the whole number. Check out your multiples of six, six, 12, 18, 24. Oh, it goes into it equally. How many times? One, two, three, Four. Look at your multiplication chart. Is the product of six times four 24? Yes. Let's put a four up here on top of the ones, which makes my quotient or my answer 24. And since six times four is 24, we are going to subtract 24 from 24. to get zero. Let's do another one together. Find the equation of two divided into 287. And I'm gonna go ahead and list the multiples of two out here. You have them on your chart, so you do not need to write them down if you choose not to. It's up to you. Stop right there, because I don't think I'm gonna to have to go any higher. All right, so I have my multiples of two and I'm using my multiples of two because my divisor is two. Everything is getting divided by two, right? My multiples of two are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. When I'm dividing, I'm gonna start dividing in the hundreds place value if I can. So I'm dividing two into 287. My first dividend is a two hundreds, two in the hundreds. Can two divide into two? Yeah, my first multiple is two. So two goes into two one time, okay? It goes into it one time. I'm gonna put my one on top and my hundreds. Two times one is two, so I'm gonna subtract two. Go ahead and subtract. Zero. And bring down that eight in your tens. Your new division equation is two divided into eight. Does two go into eight? And if so, how many times? Look at your multiples, find your factors of two and go to your multiples, two, four, six, eight. Oh, eight is a multiple of two, so it goes into it equally four times. Double check and let's make sure that two times eight, I'm sorry, two times four equals eight. Yes, so on top of my eight tens place value and my answer, I'm gonna put a four. And since two times four equals eight, I am subtracting eight from my eight and my tens. Go ahead and subtract. Mm -hmm. 
and bring down that seven. How many times can two go into the number seven? My multiples are two, four, six, and eight. I skipped seven. It should be right here between the six and the eight. But I can't take away the eight because eight is too many. I don't have enough. I only have seven. But I can take away six. And two times three equals six. I'm gonna put a three up here in my ones. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take away that six from my seven. Seven minus six equals one. Two cannot go into one. So that means this one is going to be a remainder. And I'm gonna have a remainder of one. Two divided into 287 equals 143 with a remainder of one. Let's do one more together. Two divided into five hundred and thirty one. My divisor is two, so I'm going to list my multiples of two. You don't have to, just reference them on your multiplication chart if you choose. You know where to find them. Two divided into 531. So let's start in my hundreds. I have a five one hundredths. How many times can two go into five? If I look at my multiples, two, four, six. Oh, well, six is more than five. So it goes right here. So since I can't take away six, I'm gonna take away four. And when I subtract four, that means I'm multiplying by two. So I'm gonna put a two in my 100s place value. And two times two equals four. Let's subtract four. Five minus four is one. Next step is to bring down your three from your tens to make it 13. Next, you're dividing two into the whole number of 13. How many times can two go into 13? Have a look at your multiples. And how many? Six, eight, 10, 12, it's close. 14 is too many. So I'm gonna go with the fact multiple of two. And how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So check your chart. And two times six in my tens is 12. Take 12 away, away from 13. Again, I got that from Multiplying two times six is 12. I couldn't do two times seven because that's 14 and I can't take 14 away from 13. Three minus two is one, one minus one is zero. And you have your one in your 
in your ones place value. So let's go ahead and bring that down. And I have the number 11 here. How many times can two go into the number 11? Look at your multiples and how many times? Right, five times. So two times five is 10. So I'm gonna take away 10. And the five is gonna go in your answer on top, under, on top of the ones place value to make it 265. And then go ahead and subtract 11 minus 10. One minus zero is one, one minus one is zero. Two can't go into one. So that means on this equation, this problem, we're gonna have a remainder also. And that's gonna be a remainder of one because there's no way I can share one between two, right? So your answer here is 265 with a remainder of one, okay? You're gonna have two practice problems that you were doing on your own on your paper Relate it to this. Refer back to the video. Rem, um, try to remember what we learned about division concepts in the previous lessons with remainders. Draw a picture if you need to and ask for help if you get stuck. Go ahead and get started.